Hello, good morning everyone. It's Miss Kendra from Learn and Play Montessori School. It's another beautiful day. How are you doing? Really good? Did you finish eating your breakfast? You ready? Okay, awesome. I want to mention today that our remote learning program is growing and growing and we're adding more new fun things. And this week on Friday the 14th, we are gonna have a free yoga class from 4.30 p.m. to 5 with Miss Kelly on Zoom. And everyone can join, right? Not just our little ones, our big friends and parents. You're all welcome to join on our awesome yoga class, okay? Fantastic, let's take a look at the calendar. Yesterday was what day? Yesterday was m Monday. Thank you. Yesterday was Monday. Today is t -t Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. And that means what's after Tuesday? Tomorrow is w Wednesday. Thank you. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Now, how many days are in the week? How many days? Five? Seven? Seven days in a week? That's right. Let's sing our seven days of the week song. Ready? There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Why did we clap on Tuesday? Because that is today. Yeah, so we gotta move forward one day to Tuesday. Now, do you remember what month it is? What month is it? August, it's August. Yes, it is Tuesday, August 11th, 2020. That's right. Now, August is one of our months. How many months do we have in the whole year? How many months do we have? 12 months, 12 months. Let's take all of our fingers out for our 12 months song. There are 12 months, there are 12 months, there are 12 months in a year. There are 12 months, there are 12 months, there are 12 months in a year. January, February, March and April. May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, and December. These are the months of the year. Fill them with joy and with cheer. The months of the year. Fantastic. Thanks for singing with me. We have one more song, our phonics song. Let's sing that. Ready? Do you know these letter sounds? Do you know these letter sounds? They will help you learn to read. They will help you learn to read. Apple, apple, a, a, a. Baby, baby, ba, ba, ba. Cookie, cookie, k. Dolly, dolly, d, d, d. Elbow, elbow, eh, eh, eh. Flower, flower, f, f, f. Garden, garden, g, g, g. Hammer, hammer, h, h, h. Igloo, igloo, i, i, i. Jelly, jelly, j, j, j. Kitten, kitten, k, k, k. Lion, lion, o, o, o. 
monkey, monkey, mm, mm, mm. Necklace, necklace, mm, mm, mm. Ostrich, ostrich, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Pumpkin, pumpkin, Quarter, quarter, qua, qua, qua. Rabbit, rabbit, er, er, er. Scissors, scissors, s, s, s. Tiger, tiger, t, t, t. Undershirt, undershirt, uh, uh, uh. Vacuum, vacuum, Window, window, wa, wa, wa. X-ray, X-ray, x, x, x. Yo, 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 ya, ya, ya. Zebra, zebra, z, z, z. Thanks for singing the phonics song with me. Now the first thing we're gonna look at today is some line tracing and we're gonna take our animals back to the friends okay I'm gonna get that line tracing worksheet and I'm gonna sit down here now these are some really cute animals really cute do you guys know these animals well I'm gonna put my name up top first Miss Kendra these directions say Trace the lines to lead the animals back to their friend. Color the animals. So do you know that these animals? There's some really cute animals here. This first animal, what is that? That's a dog. That's right. That's a dog. And he's going to go back to his dog friend. And what animal is this? The llama, or maybe it's an alpaca. And they're going to make its way back to their friend. And what is this? A bird. And the bird is going to make its way all the way to its bird friend. And do you recognize this animal? A turtle. A turtle. And they're going to hop, 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 hop. Hop, 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 all the way back to their turtle friend. Amazing. So let's do some tracing first. And I'm going to start up here at the top one. Okay, I'm going to hold my pencil. I'm going to have a two fingers and one. My three fingers all together here. And let's trace the first line. All right, our arrow says it's going to go this way. So we're going to go from this side all the way here. Ready? We're going to do nice and slow so we can stay on that line, on that tracing line. Good job. And then we keep going all the way to lead that dog all the way to his dog friend. We made it. All right. Let's trace this line to bring this alpaca to his alpaca friend. Okay, let's start here. Follow the arrow. This is like a wave, this line. We're right, going to go slow and trace the line all the way. If we're going too fast, we might miss it. So we can go really slow. Really slow. We made it. Fantastic. Now it looks like this bird is hopping over. Let's make those lines there. So we are going to start at the arrow and follow. And then it's going down and up and around and up and around and up and around. It's okay to go nice and slow so we stay on the tracing line all the way to its bird friend. Can we help this turtle get all the way over to his turtle friend? Definitely. Definitely. Let's follow this line. Up and over. Up and over. Nice and slow. 
And if we mess up, that's okay. We can fix it or we can practice more later. Okay, well now these friends need some color. What do you think these dogs should look like? I think one will be a brown dog. And one will be a black dog. Do you have a black dog at home? Oh, you do? What's its name? Is his name Black Lab? Yeah? Okay. What color do you think these alpacas should be? Maybe in real life they're going to be like a white or brown or gray color. On this paper, I think they should be pink. A pink alpaca. Have you ever seen that? Not in real life. And here's this pink alpaca friend. This is a super alpaca. It's got a cape. Right? That's a cape. Because this one is super. Maybe he's flying all the way over there. Okay, how about these birds? I'm thinking this is a yellow bird. What color bird is he flying to? Is she flying to? How about a red bird? All right, you guys. We just have a little turtle friend to color now. I'm gonna make my turtle friend green. Okay. All right, if you're not done coloring, that's all right. We can put this paper to the side. We can come back to that later. We have this really awesome matching game for us. And we can see can you see all these different pictures? They are broken in half. So it's our job to draw a line to match the halves. And then we can get help to cut the halves out and we can try again later. Does that sound nice? Definitely, definitely. Okay, so let's look at the first box up top there. That is one half of a, what animal? A butterfly. Yeah, that's one half of the butterfly. Do you see the other half around here? Is that the other half of the butterfly? No. Here, yeah, that's the other half of the butterflies. So what are we going to do? We're going to use our pencil to draw a line. Let's do that. Let's write a line from our butterfly to the other half of the butterfly. And then later we can get help to cut this out and we can match them together again. We can practice. Okay, what is this one? That's not a dog, right? That's a big cat. That's a tiger. A tiger. Do you see the other half of the tiger face? Is that it? No, if we put those together, that's not going to be matching. Where's the other half to match the tiger face? Oh, is that it? If we put those together, we'll get a whole tiger face. Yeah, let's draw a line from the tiger face here to the other half here. Excellent. What about this one? This is one half of a what? Is that a tomato? Is that a pig? Ah, that is a tree. Thank you. Let's find the other half of the tree. Do you see it? Is it up at the top or is it lower at the, bo at the bottom? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you found it. There's the other half of the tree. So we need to draw a line from the tree to the tree. Match the halves. We made it. We made it. Now let's see this one. This is a banana? A tomato. Yes, this is a half of tomato. Right, together, one tomato. It is cut in half. We need to put it back together. Let's draw a line from half of the tomato to the other half of the tomato. Do you see it? Yes, it's the other one there. Let's draw a line from this tomato half to that tomato half. We made it. Now there's one more picture that we need to match. I see one half pig face here. Do you see the other half? There? Higher? Yeah, half pig face and half pig face. Let's draw a line to match those together. All the way. Okay, you guys, we matched all of these halves together. Now later, we can ask for help and we could cut out all of these squares and match them together and try it again. Sounds good? Awesome. Okay, now let's do something a little bit fun and search for these numbers. So there's like a lot of lines on this page. But there are also some numbers inside of here. Do you see some of those numbers? You do? Okay, awesome. If not, we're going to look for them right now. That's okay. So these directions say, fi uh, first find the numbers and color them black. Do you have a black color? A black crayon or pencil? No? Okay, a different color is just fine. Now after, color the rest of the picture. So, first we're going to find these numbers. So, let's find number, number one first. Let's find number one. Do you see a number one anywhere around here? Hmm, I see a bird. I see a tree, I see a flower, a door, a dragonfly maybe, a dog, oh, what's next to this dog? Is that a number one? Yeah, that's a number one. You want to trace it with the, your fingers? Let's use two fingers, we'll trace this number one. We found it there on the fence. That's a number one. Let's color that black or any color you choose. Now, what number comes after one? When we're counting, we say one, two. Yeah, let's look for number two. Not that one not a sun, not a window, another dog, that doesn't look like a two, do you see a, oh, whoa, it's hidden in there, do you see that too? Let's trace it, let's use our two fingers and trace the number two. Good job, okay, I'm ready to color that to black. And now I'm going to look for number three. One, two, three. Do you remember seeing a number three around here somewhere? Is it the sun? Is that a three? This is a three. Yeah, let's trace that three with our two fingers. 
around and around right from the top around to the bottom okay let's try to color that three and maybe it feels a little messy that's okay this is practice and we're getting better every day now what comes after three one two three four thank you four do you see a four around here maybe some of these numbers are going to be really hard to find that's all right is that a four no some flowers oh what's that there could that be a four let's trace it oh when i trace it it feels like a four yeah that's our four okay let's color that one black what's after number four a hundred five that's right do you remember seeing a five around here is it next to the door is five next to the door yeah there's our five let's trace that five good job let's color that five what comes after five one two three four five then six that's right six now let's try to find a six i see here a bird a cat oh what about here yeah it's an inverted backwards six let's color that six in we're gonna we're gonna color that in black and then we're gonna look for a seven what comes after six a seven let's find a number seven so i'm looking here i see another cute bird and a chimney on the house and a, oh what is this is that a seven yeah this seven has a little extra dash but this is a seven let's trace our seven okay let's color our seven okay we have two more numbers to find and then we're ready to color the rest of this picture do you see a number eight yeah it's like the first one we look at right it's all the way up here at the top left corner okay let's trace our number eight super let's color our number eight and don't forget if this is too fast we can come back later and finish this coloring now what's after eight one two three four five six seven eight nine we're looking for number nine do you see a nine can you see it is it close to the door yeah it's right here to the left of the door okay let's color in that nine after we trace it nine going around and down number nine all right good work everyone thanks for helping me find all those numbers now we're ready to make this picture really beautiful let's finish coloring everything else so we can get started on making this just 
beautiful. I think whoever we give this to is going to really love it. Okay, and I'm thinking it's going to be a regular day and the trees are going to be green. Are you guys going to make your trees green like in real life or are you thinking like a rainbow tree? Ooh, a rainbow tree. That sounds fun too. Okay. So, I'm going to finish coloring this later. Would you guys sing a song with me? You will? <laughs> Fantastic. Let's stand up and we can sing this song about our community helper, the veterinarian. We're going to talk more about it after the song. Are you ready to sing with me? Okay. One, two, three. I'm a vet. I'm a vet, I'm a veterinarian. I take care of the animals and I treat them one by one. I give shots, I set legs, and sometimes I operate. I take care of the animals cause I think they are just great. Bring your dogs, bring your cats, Bring your hamsters one by one. I take care of the animals. I'm a veterinarian. I'm a veterinarian? Is Miss Kendra a veterinarian? No, I'm a teacher. That was our song. But let's talk about a veterinarian. This is someone who helps animals. I have a book to share with you about this community helper veterinarian. So just like people have doctors, animals have veterinarians, right? Because we don't bring our puppy to the doctor with us, right? You cannot bring a bird to the doctors. They have to go to their own animal doctor. So let's look at this book here. Community Helpers, Veterinarians. A veterinarian practices at an office or an animal hospital. Sometimes they must travel to a house or a farm. So maybe you have a small animal, you take it to the, the vet office or the veterinarian animal hospital. What if you have a big cow? What if that's your animal? Can you put that in the car? Take it with you? <laughs> no, that's too big. So some veterinarians go to the farm to help the animals. Some maybe will go to the zoo to help the animals. Their job is to keep animals healthy and take care of them when they are sick. Some veterinarians keep animals in kennels while, the, while their owners are away. So a lot of, most all veterinarians take care of animals to keep them healthy and when they are sick. Some places are like a doggy hotel and they stay there while you're on vacation. Veterinarians use tools and wear clothing like doctors. They have stethoscopes, x-ray machines, and medications, right? You remember Miss Kelly and doctors everywhere have a stethoscope. They can listen to your heart, listen to your lungs. Same with the animals. Animals have a heart, animals have lungs, so they use the stethoscope to listen to them too. It's good to know we have veterinarians. It's good to know veterinarians are there for our family pets. Our family pets and all animals. All the animals everywhere can be happy to have a veterinarian. Now this coloring page we have 
has so many different kinds of veterinarians. Look, this veterinarian, he's working to help. It looks like maybe a bald eagle, a huge bird. He's helping bandage its wing. Maybe this veterinarian works with wild animals. Not animals that live in your house, maybe wild animals. Wow, let's color this veterinarian who's working with this bald eagle. He's helping him so he can do what? What do birds do? Do they walk around? What do they do? They fly. Yeah, he's fixing his wing to help him fly again. That's fantastic. Do you think he's going to be happy if he's flying again? Yeah, I think so too. Let's give our, our sun some yellow, shining bright, and we will give this veterinarian brown hair. And like the book said, they wear white coats just like a doctor, so I'm going to leave his coat white. Now, when I look at the next picture here, this looks like a veterinarian who takes care of family pets. Right, this is not like a tiger. This is a family pet, a little dog. And look, I see there's a man and a lady and anyone can be a veterinarian. Do you like animals? You do? Maybe one day you'll feel like being a veterinarian. Does that sound fun? Helping the animals all day? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now I'm thinking everyone in this picture will have brown hair today. How do you guys feel about that? Yeah, brown hair is nice. Why not? Okay, and she's gonna have a white coat because she is the veterinarian. But she will have an awesome blue stethoscope. Okay, mom and boy are matching. All right, you guys, that's really cute. So this is like a, a veterinarian that takes care of wild animals. And this one takes care of smaller animals that maybe live in your home. What is she doing? She's helping. Where does a cow live? Where do the cows live? On the farm. Yeah. This veterinarian is helping the cows on the farm. So she probably drives her car to the farm to help those animals. And maybe after she helps these cows, maybe she'll go to a different farm and help even more animals. Maybe she's going to help some horses next. I'm not sure. All right, let's give this tree a little, little green color and brown for the trunk and the fence. Okay, you guys. Needs a little sky. Let's make it happy. Okie dokie. The last one. Where have you seen a giraffe? Where did you see a giraffe? At the zoo? Yeah, I think maybe this veterinarian works with animals that live at the zoo. Maybe he works with giraffes and elephants and what else do you see at the zoo? Yeah, maybe that too. Well, that's really cool. So, let's color our giraffe. I think our giraffe's going to be really happy with his vet. So, I see this that has a stethoscope 
so does she, and so does she. So we know that if you're helping animals or people like a doctor, you can probably have a stethoscope. That's going to help you listen to what? Yeah, the heart. That's right. Okay, you guys, we did a lot of fun coloring today. Thanks for learning about a veterinarian with me. And tomorrow we're going to be learning more about our urinary system. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow.